It looked weird and it was pink. <laughs> yes. Uh... <laughs> uh, I mean, there's plenty of on-air bants, but no real bust up, no, he's lovely. I'm not sure it was quite an all-nighter. There may have been a 20 minutes post-Brits when I was very young pre-kids, but it had to be done. Yes! I've had many, many disasters on TV. Do we need to name them? Do we need to mention? I did flush my pants live once on national television, not ideal, and not entirely my fault. I blame Ben Shepherd. Yeah, I mean, endless disasters. I think that's the nature of live TV. Things will go wrong, and usually they do with me. Loads of times, because it is very strange if there's someone that you've watched in movies or on TV, and then to see them face to face, you just feel a bit unnecessary. I remember applying a lot of lip gloss the first time I interviewed Brad Pitt. Oh my gosh, I've had so many red carpet fails. But isn't that all the fun of it? You've got to try different things. I once bought a fake pony skin trouser suit. Really? That's a lesson not to shop after a long lunch with the girls. Yes, I'm not sure it's traditional fan mail. I got sent a lot of very weird things when I was pregnant, including a weird jelly-like tube, uh, which the sender suggested was great for when your breasts get a bit sensitive when they go bigger with breastfeeding. It looked weird and it was pink. Uh, but it was meant well, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs>